Restore us, O God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to the Father, to the Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, the beginning is now, is and now will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Though in the form of God, Christ Jesus did not cling to equality with God, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on the cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. All right. All right, let me just pull up my reading. Oh, shoot. Hold on, I can't find it now. Okay, sorry. A reading from the book of Exodus. Then the Lord said to Moses, Come up to the Lord, you and Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, and 70 of the elders of Israel, and worship at a distance. Moses alone shall come near the Lord, but the others shall not come near, and the people shall not come up with him. Moses came up and told the people all the words of the Lord and all the, and all the ordinances, and all the people answered with one voice and said, All the words that the Lord has spoken we will do. And Moses wrote down all the words of the Lord. He rose early in the morning and built an altar at the foot of the mountain and set up 12 pillars corresponding to the 12 tribes of Israel. He sent young men of the people of Israel who offered burnt offerings and sacrificed oxen as offerings of well-being to the Lord. Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins and half of the blood he dashed against the altar. Then he took the book of the covenant and read it in the hearing of the people. And they said, all that the Lord has spoken, we will do, and we will be obedient. Moses took the blood and dashed it on the people and said, see the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us read responsively from Psalm 132. Lord, remember David and all the hardships he endured. How he I will not come under the roof of my house, nor climb up into my bed. I will not allow my eyes to sleep, nor let my eyelids slumber. Until I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling for the mighty one of Jacob. The ark, we heard it, we found it in the field of Jacob. Let us go to God's dwelling place. Let us fall upon our knees before his footstool. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, The kingdom of heaven is like a net that was thrown into the sea and caught fish of every kind. When it was full, they drew it ashore, sat down, and put the good into baskets, but threw out the bad. So it will be the end of the age. The angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the furnace of fire, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood all this? They answered, yes. And he said to them, therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like the master of a household who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today, we celebrate the ministry of Father James DeCoven, a man who would probably be more at home in the church of today than he was in the Episcopal Church in the 19th century. DeCoven was born in Middletown, Connecticut in 1831, ordained by Bishop Jackson Kemper in 1855, 
and appointed professor of ecclesiastical history at Neshota House in Wisconsin. In addition, he administered a preparatory school and assisted at the Church of St. John Chrysostom in Delafield, Wisconsin. Neshota House was associated from the time of its foundation with many of the principles of the Oxford movement, above all in its emphasis on the sacramental life of the church and the expression of devotion to the Eucharist, including such practices as bowing to the altar at the name of Jesus and before receiving communion. In 1859, DeCoven became warden of the church college at Racine, Wisconsin, where he emphasized the life of worship. He died at Racine in 1879. DeCoven came to national attention at the General Conventions of 1871 and 1874, when the controversy over ritualism was at its height. In 1871, he asserted, horror of horrors, that the use of candles on the altar, incense, and genuflections were lawful because they symbolized the real spiritual presence of Christ, which the Episcopal Church upheld, along with the Orthodox and the Lutherans. He cited a least recent decision of an ecclesiastical court of the Church of England, which affirmed as the teaching of the church that the spiritual presence of the body and blood of our Lord in the Holy Communion is, is objective and real. Because of his advocacy of the ritualist cause, consents were not given to his consecration as Bishop of Wisconsin in 1874 and of Illinois in 1875. To the General Convention in 1874, DeCoven expressed the religious conviction that underlay his churchmanship. You may take away from us, if you will, every external ceremony. You may take away altars and super altars, lights and incense and vestments. And we will submit to you. But gentlemen, to adore Christ's person in his sacrament, that is the inalienable privilege of every Christian and Catholic heart how we do it, the way we do it, the ceremonies with which we do it are utterly, utterly indifferent. The thing itself is what we plead for. James DeCoven. Lord have mercy. Christ have, Christ mercy. have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, the source and perfection of all virtues, you inspired your servant, James DeCoven, to do what is right and to preach what is true. Grant that all ministers and stewards of your mysteries may impart to your faithful people by word and example the knowledge of your grace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Siblings, God commands us through Jesus Christ to love one another. In baptism, we promise to seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving our neighbors as ourselves to strive for justice and peace, and to respect the dignity of every human being. Let us now honor these our vows, and let us pray for our nation, for wise and just leaders, and for the needs of others throughout our country and the world. We pray for blessings on all peacemakers, on leaders who value peace, and on everyone who promotes nonviolent solutions to conflict. We pray for a speedy end to all violence and warfare around the world, especially in Ukraine. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for the strength of heart and mind to look beyond ourselves and address the needs of our siblings throughout the world, for the rural and urban poor, for the rebuilding of our communities, and for an end to the cycles of violence that threaten our future. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We commend our nation to the Lord's care, Grant to Joseph, our president, Kathy, our governor, 
the members of our federal, state, and local legislatures and courts, and all in authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do the Lord's will. Fill them with the love of truth and righteousness, and make them ever mindful of their calling to serve the people of this land. God of love, in your mercy. We pray for the church militant throughout the world, that it may be an instrument of your healing love. We pray especially for Justin of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Larry, our bishop, Lauren, our rector, Father Mark and Father Dan, our rector emeritus. God of love, in your mercy. We pray that the Holy Spirit may embrace the most vulnerable members of our society. We pray also for an end to the growing disparity between the rich and poor, and for the grace and courage to strive for economic justice. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our We pray for an end to prejudice throughout our country and the world, that we will respect all people as precious children of God, and that discrimination based on ethnic, religious, and gender differences will be forever banished from our hearts, our society, and our laws. God of love, in your mercy. We pray for a reverence of creation, that we will have the tools and the will to conserve it, that we will use its resources rightly in the service of others, and that we will become better stewards of all that has been entrusted to us. God of love, in your mercy. We pray for all immigrants, refugees, and pilgrims from around the world, that they may be treated with fairness, dignity, and respect. God of love, in your mercy. We pray for all prisoners and captives, that the spirit of forgiveness may replace vengeance and retribution, and that we, with all the destitute, lonely, and oppressed, may be restored to the fullness of God's grace. God of love, in your mercy. We pray for all children and families, and particularly for the orphans, neglected, abused, and those who live in fear of violence or disease, that they may be relieved and protected. God of love, in your mercy. Bless, O Lord, those who seek to learn and those who teach them. Inspire us to break down barriers that withhold education from your children and enlighten us with bright beams of wisdom so we may be equipped to seek the blessings of liberty, justice, and peace. God of love, in your mercy. Bless, O Lord, physicians, nurses, first responders, and all others who minister to the suffering, granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. We pray especially for Dr. Elizabeth Engelman, Dr. Dan Griffin, Dr. Esther E. Knapp, Dr. Rachel Simpson, Kat Bates, Marina Guerra, Karen Liu, Ava Longmire, Brenda Marshall, Susan Dietz Massengill, and all those responding to natural and human-made disasters. God of love, in your mercy. We pray for the sick, the aged, and the infirm, remembering especially Hank, Peter, Bob, Mark, MB, Marion, Clay, Kai, Frank, Mark, Michael, Kimberly, Tina, Carol, Sue D, Todd, Einstein, Danny M, Pamela, Nat and Nancy, Jude, Sue B, Elsie, Sue M, Sally, David, Jerry, Pearl, James, Dawn, Macy, Mother Lauren, Katie, Pam, Peg, Carol W, Brian, Caitlin, John Gunner, Francis, Sarah, Ling, Larry, Jean, Jerry, those suffering as a result of natural and human-made disasters, those injured due to gun violence, and all those affected by COVID-19. God of love, in your mercy. We commend to you, Lord, all who have died, remembering especially Christine Mucci and William, those who have perished so far in the war in Ukraine, those who died as a result of natural and human-made disasters, those killed as a result of gun violence, 
the millions worldwide who have died from COVID-19, and all those we remember today in the stillness of our hearts. May they rest in peace. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, nor as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks God. God. be to God. May the crucified Christ shatter our brittle fear, draw all people to his glory, and make us servants living for the world. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst us and remain with us always. Amen. 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 Let us go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks to God. Thanks, Jonathan.